Hey traders, this is Travis from 24FX Academy. Today is Tuesday, doing another tr Trading Tuesday tip video. Um, so today is going to be a fun video. It's been a, a comment that I usually hear from old traders, new traders, traders in our community. And um, I used to struggle with this all the time. And it's actually, you know, how to enter the market at that sweet time. You know, it seems like a lot of traders, they feel like they are either entering the market at too late or too early. And um, the traders who enter the market too early feel like the market reversed on them. And the traders who enter the market too late either miss the, that big move that they saw, you know. So uh, we're going to be talking about that. And I have four simple steps to help you guys get there. So step one. And I think it's the most important. Find the direction of the market. And when I say the market, the currency pair that you're trading or stock, because this is also a tool that you can use in the stock market. So the main trend, you want to figure out the main trend. So right now we're looking at a weekly chart. And I already have the supply and demand zones, which also I use as overbought, oversold. Because if you think about the, the market as a rubber band, you know, when the market stretches too far from one end to another and it needs to snap back to the opposite direction or come together. So when you have the market, and I'll just use this drawing to, when you have the market coming from its lowest part to its highest part, it's stretched to its max, it needs to come back down. And it does it, you know, we have these ups and downs or a sideways market. Sometimes you have a continuation of a trending market, which... This would be more considered a trending market here. Coming here, this is a downward trend. But all in all, you need to find out if you're overbought, oversold. Now, we'll all be getting into an indicator that may help you uh, see that. But that's the first step. So we're going to first look at it on a weekly. Break it down from a weekly, seeing that, all right, we at this top. You know, and what's, what's our uh, chances of not getting out of this? If we look left to right like you should always look at your charts left from right looks like we have this area you know break it down a little lower this is the area where the market wants to keep rejecting price so when you see this there's a high chance that now hey we're rejecting price here we have a red candle on a weekly high probability that hey we can continue bearish so now that we know hey possible the main trend of where the market wants to go we'll look at it on a daily all right cool now on a daily we see hey we have this long uh, uptrend and we know that we're in this overbought area where can i where can we definitely get in next and also where can the market stop us at the only thing about hey where you can get in that you gotta think about what's what's the probability that hey the market's gonna get exhausted so if we look here left to right the last low was here. And then the next low was here. So we know we have these two options for take profits on a daily chart. All right. So if we know the main trend, I like to stop at the four hour and go, all right, cool. Before I make my trading decision where I want to enter, my next step is I want to get a trading economical calendar. So today's the 15th. There's nothing left for this day. What do we have major? So we have Great British Pound. We have German or Dutch, I apologize, and the Euro. All right. And what currency pair am I trading? I'm trading, sorry, the US dollar Japanese yen. So there's no economical news that can really stop me out majorly. Let's look at it. On a medium. All right, so let's go on to Tuesday, October 16th. Do we have any? All right, so we have some USD news. 9 a.m. All right, but none of this is that major that's going to really affect us. But be mindful. So we have this early volume area. Cool. That can be that catalyst that's going to push us, continuating in this downtrend. So. I'll wait for the pullback. Retesting this zone. And the reason why, because we have 
And the reason why, because we have this support bro level mate. And I'll zoom in. When you have your candles making this wall, or like I like to call it a little brick wall here. Let's get the highlighting too. This is our last support and resistance. So the market needs to pull back into this area. So this is where I want to get in for my short. You don't want to get in here because this may be too late. It can be a false breakout. So I'd rather get at the lowest port where the market actually is giving me a potential area. I'll get in here and then set my take profit level based off the my area here. So let's bring it down. I'm not a greedy trader, so my goal is always 50 pips. So I grab my tool here, go 50 pips down. Cool. And I would enter at a whole number. So let me just change this because I'm a little weird like that. Make that into a two. Perfect. I like getting into those whole numbers. So let me use this tool. We'll get in. Twelve, and then we do fifty pips in that direction. Fifty pips in that direction. A one to one ratio, you know. Even though I think we can definitely get more pips here, but this is just for examples. All right. Now a secondary confirmation tool that we'll use, right? We'll go to indicators on Trading View, right? Type in RSI. Now I have a special technique that I teach privately in my in our uh, trading classes. Uh, but for this, you want to see if you're overbought. So right now, we're getting to that area. We're gonna get to this zone area here break out and reject this area we're probably gonna get a curve and I'll, I'll, I'll illustrate that what I mean get the illustrating tool the little paintbrush so the mark is gonna come this way on the RSI when we start getting that curve in this area that's when I know hey it's time to keep shorting so like I like to use the RSI just as the indicator hey that I know one if we're overbought, oversold, and also hey, if we're rejecting certain areas. So if we look to the past, to the left, we see hey, this is our rejection area. And what happened here? It came up, rejected, big candle. And that's what I'm looking for for this setup over here. I'm gonna get in here, reject this last high, reject that area, bang, come crashing down, take this short. And it's that simple. Like I like to tell my students, trading is like making a soup or uh, a good meal. You have all these seasonings and all these techniques as a trader, and you have to combine them. You can't just look at the market and use one tool. You know, you can't you cook with one seasoning. You can't cook with one pan. You may need a pan, a spatula, some fire. So you need the, all these materials to do that, right? So it's the same thing with trading. You need to look at price. You need to look at volume. You need to look at the the calendar the economical calendar and use all this information to make a strong dis trading decision and that's also part of making a trading strategy see how i had to break all these steps down i can teach this over and over because it's a strategy when you figure out what you need to do because you have a goal you have a trading strategy now if you want to learn more you can actually message us privately or join our group at 24fx on telegram um you can follow follow us also on instagram at 24 fx academy on instagram if you like this video give us a thumbs up comment or subscribe if you want to see more we have other in our library so check us out take care